Well, the first stage in the realization of a piece of music is to construct the individual sounds that we're going to use. To do this, we can, if we like, go to these sound generators here, electronic generators, and we'll listen to three of the basic electronic sounds. First, it's the simplest sound of all, which is a sine wave. As you see on the oscilloscope, it has a very simple form and has a very pure sound. Now we listen to the same note, but with a different quality. This is a square wave. You see, it's very square on the picture, and it's perhaps rather harsh to listen to. This is because it has a lot of high harmonics, and that's what gives the corners on the picture. A more complex sound still is white noise. But those basic sounds aren't really interesting in their raw state like this. To make them a value for a musical piece, we have to shape them and mould them. But using all of these, we can build up any sound we can possibly imagine almost. We spend quite a lot of time trying to invent new sounds, I mean, sounds that don't exist already, sounds that can't be produced by musical instruments. But we don't always go to electronic sound generators for our basic sources of sound. If the sound we want exists already in real life, say, we can go and record it. The sound I want for the rhythm of this piece uh, needs to be a very short, dry, hollow, wooden sound I can get from this. And then the sound for the punctuating chords, I want the sound of a short, wire stri string being plucked. That's the speed we recorded in the studio. We can get the lower sounds we need from the rhythm by slowing down the tape. And the higher sounds by speeding up the tape. These particular pitches we can record on this machine here. And then all we have to do is cut the notes to the right length. We can join them together on a loop and listen to them. What we've seen now is one method in which we synchronize tapes of electronic sounds with each other. But another technique is to combine a tape of electronic sounds with the playing of live musicians. In this music by John Baker, he's in the studio conducting the musicians in time with the electronic sounds which he is hearing on his headphones. 